let's talk business. This is a reality check and this is just some stuff that a lot of people don't realize when they think they want an agent but they might not be ready to have one. There are a lot of different things to know about the world of having a talent agent. In this video, we're gonna look at basically what you're agreeing to when you sign on with a commercial voiceover agent. The second very common um, misconception about having an agent is, um, is how easy that is. And I wanna talk about the responsibility of scheduling. The first thing you wanna do is ask yourself, what do you do for a living? Right? Let's say that you started, you know, a lot of people your whole life have told you you have a great voice and let's say you've even, you know, worked as a radio DJ for a little bit or you've had some mic experience or training and you've got great demos and you just want to do voiceover and you're super excited and want to take that game to the next level. Well, how do you pay your bills? Because did you know that when you sign with an agency, you are handing them your schedule? your schedule is no longer your own. <laughs> you might have your daily work life, but if you go to a commercial agent and you're like, I work every day from nine to five, when are they gonna send you out? Most of these agents call you out on short notice. I work with a lot of um, talent. I work with professional talent, non-union talent, wherever they're calling me from, I have them ask me for a final con confirm uh, the night before after 9 p.m. because that's when I have official knowledge of what my schedule will be the next day. For me, close of business is after nine o'clock because half of my agency is in Hollywood. They wrap at like six and sometimes they'll call me in for early auditions here in New York um, at like 9 p.m. EST because they're still working because it's only six o'clock there. I live every single day of my life that way. So a lot of people don't have the flexibility to hand over the reins of their work schedule um, and be okay with being sent to an on-camera commercial audition the next morning at 10 a.m. when they get notified of it at like 6 p.m. the night before. That's a very real thing. So when you hand over your schedule, you have to hand them complete flexibility. When a lot of people realize that, they're like, oh crap, I can only call in so many sick days at work before they start to wonder if I'm dying. <laughs> Maybe you'll tell them you are, but um, you know, so that you can make these auditions, but there's only so many times you're gonna be able to do that and keep your job. You really have to look at how flexible you're gonna be able to be um, in order to live at the, at the beck and call of your agent because your agent will be sending you at home records that all have deadlines. That's the easy part, because anybody can stay up a little later and record all the way up until they go to bed at like one in the morning if they get a whole bunch at the end of the day. They can stay up a little later and do that and then go to work the next day. What's really hard for them is when they realize that they're gonna be called in on camera at like 10 a.m. the next morning, they were gonna be in a spin class or whatever it is, you no longer have that flexibility. You are signing on the line saying that you will go wherever they tell you to go whenever they tell you to go. If you're going out of town or whatever, you have to let them know like, at least a week and a half in advance. You've gotta be on top of that like crazy. And that's really pretty much it. I hope these tips were super helpful. Be sure to hit subscribe. Check out nycvocoach.com for all my other tips and tricks and all sorts of things or just hang out here on my page. Uh, that's cool too. All right, I'll see you next time.